Hey, Summers. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Make Two and another neighbor visit. This is Pinkila's house. Hopefully, we're pronouncing your name correctly. She invited us to see this house on the mysterious island, way out in some of the new lots that we were given. So, as you can see, it's a two story house. And as we go in, we're going to see it's very atmospheric. Look at all the.、Uh, Sort of dark colors. It's dark, it's haunted, and Pinkilla's told us that it's a magical house, which is kind of pretty obvious when you see all the decorations and crazy stuff going on.、Yeah. But I just think it's a really well designed family home. It happens to be haunted <laughs> and magical, but it's just a really nice structure. So you get into the house via this porch. Very cool to set up the patio like that. Oopsie, there go、yeah. the haunted items. Well, outside, if you go up to the second floor, you can see this is a completely covered porch. Yes. Which is nice.、And、there's a cool little entryway here for the actual front door to be underneath that overhang. So, as you go in, you get into a long corridor. Off to the left here is a combined kitchen and dining area. And you, of course, got all the haunted cabinets and countertops and all that stuff. It's a crystal ball here、yeah. for that touch <laughs> of magic just to begin with. And then, of course, I like the alternating red and black chairs around yeah, the、nice. dining table. I like also too that all the countertops have food or things on them. Yeah. So everything's ready to go to、in. feed all the family. Then let's see if we just go off the back here. This is a bit of a sitting room. So looks like again that alternating red and black theme is still here. Off、mm -hmm. the back here is. A library with these magical bookcases unlocked from completing, I think, the Book of Spells quest. Back here is a small office off of the library. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah I love、cool. these Egyptian chairs. These are Egyptian chairs, by the way, called that in the home store. But I don't use them often, but I just think they're so chic. Yeah, you've got to have the color theme to match them because they're so specific, but they work perfectly here. I don't know that you have to have. A matching color theme. It's just like a bold piece of accent furniture, perhaps. Okay, so use them more. <laughs> Then, let's see. If we go this way to the right off of the hallway, you have open set of doorways up to the staircase. So we'll hit that in a bit. But just over here is a guest bathroom, and then through here is a bedroom. A bedroom for well, for one with or for two maybe, but the the coffin shaped. Chest of drawers、mm -hmm. aren't for sleeping in; they're just for clothes. Yeah, there is a coffin-shaped bed in the home store. I'm not sure if we're going to see that in this house, but it does exist. And then this bathroom, very elegant.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just think it's a nice layout for bathroom. It just happens to be dark、mm -hmm. and creepy. <laughs> so if we took those stairs up, then we would open out into a very large sitting area. Again, these are haunted couches. So technically, I think this is like. Meant to be the outside of a coffin, you know, with these couches,、uh, but、yeah. they are still very comfy looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they look very plush. Yeah. Off of here is access to that balcony that we saw overhanging the porch. So you've got this is really nice that Cupid statue. I think that just adds a lot of atmosphere to this kind of house. And then of course the balcony just keeps going this way, and you can also access it from a different part of the house, which we'll see in a bit. But. Before we do that, let's just go through here again—a pair of open doorways, and then into the upstairs hallway. So, towards the front of the house, off of the upstairs hallway, let's say this is a bit of a playroom, hobby room, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I just think yes,、yeah, a, a hobby room because you've got the practicing spell stuff、mm -hmm. over there. But I think it's just a place just to hang out as well. Yeah, I like the pump, the lit pumpkin is really cool. <laughs> Now this is actually kind of cool. So through here, I think this is meant to be actually technically outdoor space. This is a balcony with a outdoor park bench here because this is balcony flooring, but it's just covered by the roof. Yeah, if you have areas that are outside surrounded by inside stuff within、mm -hmm. two feet, very very close together in terms of blocks, yeah, it won't get rid of the roof. So this is just too small a space.、Mm. If you had a flat roof, though. Then the flat roof would expose. Yeah, I think. like a hole in the roof. Basically. Yeah, the hole in the roof. But it's kind of a cool thing to have, like just a little nook、mm -hmm. inside the house. And let's see, if we went over here, there's a small balcony as well. This direction, you get 
first of all, an office. And then through here, open doorways off of that office. A double bedroom. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, and those are really good bed states. Fit <laughs> very well with that those walls. Yeah, these medieval style beds. Yeah. Then off of the hallway in this direction is a large shared bathroom for the upstairs. And then let's see, how would we get to this bedroom? You from that balcony, from balcony, basically, yeah. yeah. The Maybe there was meant to be a door into the room otherwise, but you can still get to it through this balcony. And that has a small walkthrough room there. And here is, I guess, another small office, study room, exercise room because of the exercise bikes. By the way, the exercise bikes come from the senior quest, I believe. And then through here, an open doorway into a small bedroom. Yes, I think it's like maybe a combined bedroom living room. Mm -hmm. So you can sleep on the bed and then you can get up and sit on the sofa and watch TV. Yeah. Or maybe it's for one person to sit on the bed or maybe it's for like a little kid to sleep in the bed while the parents watch over them. It's an interesting placement TV. for the TV to be next to the bed like that. Yeah. Cool. Then, let's see, if you wanted to check out the yard of the house, first of all, there is an enclosed patio area which is accessible from this gate here, and there's a nice tree and a towel for sunbathing, and then a huge foresty yard area. Yeah, you can only pack the forest so dense in mm -hmm. some free play. It won't let you make them more dense, and this is as, as packed a forest as you can get, but I think it looks really cool. And you've also got a little pool there. Mm-hmm. Nice for toddlers. Control. Yeah. And... And then you have this... Pro um, yeah, some more tea sets for toddlers. <laughs> and then this broken pathway. Yeah. Which is a set of individual small patios, yep. all styled the same way, which snake around to the house, basically almost to the front, which I think is just a really nice touch. So it shows this house has been there for a while and it's aged over time. So that is the roof view of the house. Hey, wait, are there any windows? Hmm... I think maybe, Not. yeah, this family possibly has a lot to hide inside maybe their, their dark, magical... Maybe they are magical... vampires or something. <laughs> yeah, one of the Sims was called Wednesday, and mm -hmm. I thought maybe that was a nod to the Adams family. Hannibal Von Det. Yeah, I don't know whether Von Det means anything. Um, mm. Yeah, Pinkillo, if anybody else knows, please let us know in the comments. But yeah, maybe they are vampires, or maybe they just have something to hide. <laughs> So thanks so much again for the invitation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the tour. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And in the meantime, if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.